So we're continuing our video on how to use the grid component to create a typical uh, store finder application. So now going back uh, to the work to working preview, we can also see now that this uh, search part doesn't have a uh, submit button because it doesn't need that because when the user clicks uh, find closes airport that's actually going to go ahead and do the search and it also doesn't have any label uh, to the left of the map so let's go and see how that was done so let's go back to design mode here and go to um, search properties and you can see here that we've said that the toolbar position is none so we've turned off the toolbar and then when we go to fields for location we've turned off the row label over there so that's how we basically got to hide uh, the, the search toolbar um, so that it doesn't appear over there um, and now the final um, um, tweak that we had to do is let's go back now to map properties and uh, if we scroll to the bottom over here we can see that there's uh, an option to customize the map toolbar template so um, if we open up the builder these are all the various pieces that the map toolbar template can have. It can have a help button, it can have a center map button which uh, when you click that it opens up the prompt to center the map but since we said that the, the center map prompt is always open we don't need that. So we've put on the actual this part here which is the actual prompt uh, to, to center the map but since we're also um, have hard-coded this uh, grid, th this map, to do a radius search, which I'll point out over here. You can see here we've said that the search type is a radius search. By default you can do polygon searches and radius searches, but for a store finder you really just want to bother about radius searches. And um, um, we've also said sort um, by distance from the center point. But anyway, so since this is a radius search, um, uh, the user normally would enter the radius um, of the search area so you'd say find all airports within say 10 miles of um, the center point but here we've we've set the ra the initial radius to 10 miles and we're not going to let the user in this particular case change that so um, so in theory we don't need to have the set radius uh, um, HTML markup over there because the user is not going to be allowed to change the radius but the problem is that if we leave that out um, the search will fail because when you click the search button what gets sent back to the server is the radius that is filled in uh, to that HTML there so we actually do need that HTML to be rendered but we just go ahead and hide it by putting it in a span with the display of none so if we didn't have this line over here and we completely eliminated the toolbar part set radius then the search would fail because um, the actual radius of the search would not be submitted back to the server so this is a little trick uh, to keep the search working but at the same time to hide the, rad the, the actual radius prompt so if we close that down and close that down there you can see now that um, the prompt to set the radius which would normally look like this if you go here and you say radius this is the, um, the, the prompt that sets the radius and the user would then go and type in say 12 and then click the uh, set button. This has all been hidden now because we we are using a predefined hard-coded value of 10 miles for for the search. So so um, so here we have it. Um, and uh, at this point now, I think the only thing that uh, needs that I need to display is how we also got these icons over here so that they map uh, the icons that appear on the search part. So let's go here and type in say. Dallas uh, run the search um, so there's my uh, six close five closest airports and you can see the corresponding icon on the grid part as well and if I click on an icon over there it goes to the matching record so we've taken a uh, very common problem like a, a store finder and shown here how this that problem can be solved using a standard grid with uh, no programming at all um, other than that one simple little JavaScript function that we did I hope you found that useful thanks very much